Doing a little bit of mistletoe pruning today. Well, no, we're not pruning mistletoe. We're knocking some mistletoe out of some oak trees today. I don't usually film pruning work, but I might today. I might use it as an excuse to talk to you today while I work. This is graphite pole system from Stein. I've had it for a while. They gave it to me. And I've liked it, but I haven't done them the justice of saying anything about it. So sorry, Stein. I've been using it a lot. <laughs> Some people say it's heavy. I don't think it is. I like the bigger diameter of it. It's, it's nice that your whole system is in one bag. You know, you've got the blade. I'm not real wild about that blade, but I, for, for pulling... Um, mistletoe clumps out it's pretty good and then it comes with the pole pruner attachment everything in one kit so i keep it at home mostly and i use it on my own stuff that's probably why we haven't seen it in action in a video because i'm almost always cutting a tree down because that's what i enjoy that's what i like to do we do a lot of pruning but i, I never feel thrilled enough to about it to start making videos about it so I have the foot ascender on my foot yes indeed but I also have this foot ascender it's called a ladder some of us won't be caught dead on one of those but I think it could be pretty handy for getting up into those limbs no spurs today no need for it Kind of nice to take them off sometimes. Although I do love my spurs. I love the way they nestle all in close to my shins and give me a nice soft hug for eight or 10 or 12 hours. Oh, now that I'm going up the ladder, it does terrify me a little bit. because it doesn't have roots. And now I'm tied in. That's the advantage the homeowner never gets. Yeah. You can use this ladder. I'm done with it for now. It's super handy. I can tell you that much. You're gonna love it. It's like you just have a step wherever you want it. the ladder falls over you're you're tied in yeah so check it out YouTube I'm gonna compare these two Damien thought that the uh, what's it called carbon fiber was fiber was heavier but I think this is heavier but this it has a really cool edge there for pushing for slicing mistletoe this way and then also pulling it off that way and cutting but there's no way to hang this hook up anywhere this has a nice deep hook and so it's safer because if you're hanging your pole saw around you as you're working and you bump it off then it's going to be come sliding past you and it's activated its pulling power is is with a pulling cut like this would practically cut your head off if it fell past you with the weight of it. So this one right here doesn't have any built-in way to hang it up. And so I'm going to switch to the other one for now. Even though I like some aspects of this blade. 
and how light it is. But this one, I can poke it up in there and hang it up on something. And I trust the depth of the hook. I'm not doing a big removal, you know. Two trees down. This one I'm just doing a little bit of DRT work on it. This one's got a lot of mistletoe and might have to cut off some whole limbs. Sometimes DRT is better. Sometimes the mistletoe is so engulfed the limb that it's better to just cut the limb off. I'm over their garden so I can't just bomb stuff. I got one down there to unhook. I'll lock it off on this tree for a minute. You guys want to see my lock off? This is my massive rigging spar. Goes around there. This is this is the side you use to lower it, but I just locked it off using that old nub. See, there's other ones above me here that it won't be worth it to to poke the mistletoe out, it'd be better to just cut the limb off. That limb right there too, I think is just too much. Let's we'll cut that off. And the root system for the mistletoe won't exist on that limb. See, there's the rig piece just hanging out, waiting for Max right above their little doodads and whatnots. sneak through there. Might be a bit of a challenge. Nice. Was it heavy? Yeah, it was. Here we go. Nope. Battery's almost dead, but I don't care because I don't want to do a bunch of filming anyways. We're on the last tree. Probably the nicest tree. It has good manners. A lot of scaffolding for white oak. It has two really great climbers in it. And me. So yeah, I've been using this a little bit. It's a squirrel tether. It's one of them. They make more than one. I think this is a little bit older one. A few more clumps of mistletoe to get. Some hunks of dead wood and a whole bunch of things to pick up still. If 
You guys got any words for YouTube? Mistletoe gets on white oaks different than black wow, oaks. that was fun. You missed a spot. <laughs> yeah. See that swollen area right there on the trunk? I've noticed that the mistletoe gets on the white oaks on the trunks, deforms, the roots get in the, um, the roots get in there and deform the growth of the trunk and it ends up in these big swollen areas right off the main stem there. And they, I've seen them break there. They end up with, uh, well, mistletoe roots, an invasive parasite growing into your, uh, what would have been, should have been your strong natural system for keeping yourself upright has now been invaded by a bunch of other little roots and the tree has to work around that and it ends up with a, a big knuckle that looks swollen and uh, you'd think it'd be stronger because it's bigger but oftentimes it's just weak. Black oak tends to be more in the twigs, mistletoe in the twigs more and it's less of a problem than it is for a white oak growing right off of the stems. This has it out in the twigs too. Sometimes we cut them all the way off if they're really infested and other times we break it out of there. It's a parasite, it's no good. Although I've heard that the elk eat it when the snow's really deep and they're hungry. The deep snow allows them That was not an elk. The deep snow allows them to reach up higher and the dwarf mistletoe grows on the lodgepole pines and, and they get the dwarf mistletoe in the coldest time of the year, so it, it helps them. Not really doing before and after for you, but that was one nice savanna looking tree. If you see mistletoe, that tree is on the neighbors. But we did about eight of them around here. Those are the neighbors. Some bad mistletoe over there and the neighbors. But well, we're done. Joe wanted to mention something to you. Uh, we made a new little section on the website. It's called the discount bin. And we've got... Um, sometimes there'll be like a return for sizing. And it will be like a saddle that was worn for a week or something. Also, certain products that are brand new that we're just not really like, we're just like maybe going to stop carrying them. But like we've got a bunch of these thick squirrel tethers. Um, I'm going to put those on there. And then we've also got a little page that's like uh, custom saddles that we've built, like pre-built. Like different themes, different colors, just stuff that's not on the ordinary the discount bin's up already. We'll have these on there. Okay, that'll but be tomorrow. The, uh, we're also doing another page that's like custom saddles. Like, not like pre, not, not custom for the customer, but like special projects we've worked on. We're mm -hmm. already done. We're going to put them up there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, kind of links in the chain. Yeah. We've, we've done a lot of uh, prototyping. Yeah. And they're good harnesses. So anyway, this, what I was using today, you can get these at probably a discounted, pretty good discounted rate at monkeybeaver.com and along with some other stuff. Thanks for watching. Anything else? Hey guys, Sam here with monkeybeaver.com. Just wanted to show you our latest saddle. This one is actually going to be our newest color option. That is one bright saddle. This is going to be our high vis yellow. In case you feel like looking like a yellow jacket up in that tree. Super high vis. Look for this, I would say within the next week or so on the website. If you gotta have one now, order a high vis orange and put it in the comments. All right guys, 
Happy climbing!